I think it's for any any company in an emerging country uh, willing to become a global company. I think I see kind of three stages. Uh, first stage is of course to be competitive in your own market. With globalization the last uh, 10, 15, 20 years, uh, if you don't survive in your own market, there's no way you can uh, export. Phase number two would be uh, to become an exporter, which many people misunderstand by being a global company. You can be an exporter, but not global. Uh, being global is it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a step above. It's, uh, it's really beyond just being an exporter. You have to integrate yourself in other markets, in other societies. So I think uh, there are several challenges in that process. Uh, um, predicting the future, or trying to predict the future, and uh, communicating that, integrating that into your, co into your company with different cultures, different perspectives, different interests, it's, it's a big challenge. So I th I, there's a cultural angle to the question, which is very, very important. Uh, obviously, the whole market access, the whole attraction of capital, you really have to change your mindset from a, let's say, uh, unique, from a, from a single uh, standpoint of being a large company, or an important company to a given country, to multiple stakeholders, and uh, not always with uh, with uh, convergent interests. So it's a it's it's it's, it's a more challenging uh, role in that sense because you have really to try to see what's coming communicate that into a much more complex environment inside the company and outside the company. I, I do not see kind of a joint uh, enterprise action like a joint commercial action. What I do see uh, in the forum could be a perfect uh, environment for that is exchange of experience, exchange of uh, ideas, exchange of you know uh, outlooks. Keep in mind that it's not only good for the collective, uh, let's say, uh, the collective of the companies, but uh, countries are made of companies too. In the end, you're talking about people. Uh, more and more, I see a, a very strong link between companies and countries. So as uh, by doing, uh, by having a greater interaction between companies, so let's say coming from India, another from Korea, from Brazil, from Mexico, from Russia, as we get more together, as we get more comfortable with each other, I think over time that certainly contributes to, to this, you know, to, to better, a better improvement, uh, to, to improvement of the, of the understanding between people in general, eventually between countries. Uh, if you have like two CEOs, or two companies from, you know, important companies from two different countries establishing a relationship, a good one, that tends to, I'm not saying that that's going to resolve, but that tends to contribute to a better relationship between those two countries.